Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at long exposure photography. There's two main things I want to cover today and that is removing the color cast caused by the ND filters and determining the actual density of your filter. Those two things personally have caused me a lot of headaches and frustration but uh, in the past month or so I've learned some techniques that make it super easy, super quick and hopefully it'll make your life a lot easier as well. This image here was taken in the Bahamas and I used a Lee Filters Big Stopper to really slow down the water and kind of create a nice mood for the photo. With that being said, let's look at the original photo before I fix all the colors. And you'll notice it's very, very blue. That's the effect of the 10 stop Lee Filter. And as soon as you're done watching this video, Ideally, what you want to do is find a white wall or a backdrop, something in your house that's neutral that you can take a photo of. You want to make sure your camera's set to a manual white balance, whether that's daylight, tungsten, Kelvin, whatever, as long as it's not on auto. Take your test photo, put your ND filter on, take another photo, make sure the white balance is the same. And now that you have these two photos, what you want to do is increase or decrease the temperature and mess with the tint and you want to try and neutralize that color cast and just keep flipping back and forth until you've got it as good as you think you can get it. Once you have those numbers write them down and in this case I already have done this so I know that my big stopper needs to be 4600 Kelvin warmer which is crazy and plus 20 purple to remove the green tint Again, here's before and after, and here's my test photo before any filters were added. Pretty much spot on. So once you have those numbers written down, again, just by moving these sliders to make it look like your original, you can start editing your uh, actual photos. So in this case, I'm going to use my calculator. 5850, I'm going to add 4600 Kelvin. So it gives me 10,450. I'm going to add plus 20. So it gives me 23. And then I'll increase my saturation. So these are, again, these numbers should remove the color cast. And you'll notice if I go back to the original, it's almost literally a night and day difference in the color of the uh, photo. And all I had to do was pl plug in those numbers that I figured out ahead of time, and I'm done. Now, once I have more or less a neutral image now, I can enhance the colors using selective color in Photoshop or the uh, HSL sliders, whatever you want to do. Uh, but at least you're a lot closer to the target now than you were before. And you know you can edit these however you want. The other thing you want to do while you're doing these tests is determine the actual density of your filter. Here's another test I did uh, with another filter. Notice my shutter speed was 1 100th of a second and my histogram here. When I added a 10 stop ND, this is the ProGray 10 stop ND, I got this image. First thing you'll notice probably is it's a bit more purple. So I still actually have to figure out what my numbers are to plug in here. I'm still uh, tweaking those. but. It looks good enough, but you'll notice the image is actually darker, and I know for a fact I calculated the exposure properly. So that tells me that my filter is not actually 10 stops, and that's what you need to figure out for yourself. So how you want to do this is look at the histogram of both of the photos you took, one the original and one with the filter. The histogram should line up almost exactly. So what I want you to do right now is just stare at this histogram. Right now I'm looking at the 10 stop photo. Still looking at the histogram. Now I'm going to go back to the normal. See how it jumped over to the right? So what that tells me is that the filter is underexposed. And the way to fix that is to come to the exposure slider. And I usually go in a third stop increments. So I'll do 0.33. That's a third stop. Again, look at the histogram and I'm going to go back to the original photo see how they're pretty much lined up now they're not 
the one's not further to the left or right. There's a bit of difference in height, but that's not too big of an issue. It's mainly you want to look at the leftmost point and the rightmost point, and that will get you your good histogram values. So now that I've figured out the actual density of my filter, I know that my prograde 10 stop ND is actually 10 and a third stop. So when I'm out in the field, I have to account for that. If I'm using the, uh, let me show you here this really good app. Uh, come on. The Lee Stopper Exposure Guide, regardless of what ND filter you have, I'd recommend downloading this. It's on Android and iPhone. But you can plug in your neutral density 6, 10, or 15. If you've got a, another option, you'll have to do a bit more math, but it will make things easier for you. So what that tells me is, let's say I'm taking a photo. The number on the right is my shutter speed normally, so 1 15th. The number on the right is the shutter speed after 10 stops have been added, so 1 minute. Since my 10 stop is actually 10 and a third, I need to go one more down. And this will make sense when you open up the app. But I need to go down to this next tick mark, and that will give me my properly adjusted shutter speed. If this still doesn't make a lot of sense, if you go over to my website, I've got a guide, and this should help you out, because you really need to understand stops if you're doing long exposure photography. Uh, I also have a full long exposure tutorial that's pretty long, so there's a lot of good info in there. But again, the main thing to take away from this is take your normal photo, take your photo with the ND filter on, make sure the histograms are lined up in the same exact spot. If you notice, let me reset this, that the histograms to the left of the original increase the exposure by third stops until it's pretty much identical and write that down. Now let me show you what I have written here. Uh, well, I guess you won't see it on my phone. I've got my little stopper from Lee is actually six and a third stop and my big stopper is actually 10 and 2 thirds stops. So when I stack those two together, I would think I have 16 stops, but in reality I have 17 stops. And if I go to my stop guide, if I look at my chart here, these are all full stop increments. So let's say I was taking an 8 minute long photo because I thought I had 16 stops. Since I have 17 stops, I have to double the amount of light. I have to double my sh shutter speed now. So I would have to double my shutter speed to 16 minutes, which is kind of crazy. Um, so I'd ideally pick different settings. But that shows you, if you're using two filters that are just a little bit off from what the box says, you might have to double your shutter speed. So that's why it's very important to figure this out as soon as possible. Don't make the mistake I did and wait two years after you get your filters to do these tests. Do them as soon as you can and everything's going to be a lot easier for you. So again, take a one photo and then another photo to figure out the color cast, identify how far you have to move these sliders, write that down, do another test where you take a photo, calculate the proper uh, shutter speed using the Lee Exposure app, and then if you notice the histogram is not lined up, move the exposure tab either by a third stop or two third stop, usually that'll fix it write those numbers down and when you're out in the field refer to that and you'll know okay if I have to be at one minute I need to increase that by a third of a stop or two-thirds of a stop depending on the filter. I know that kind of is probably confusing if you're not too familiar with uh, stops but if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment I'll try and answer it or again go over to my website uh, peterzelinka.com and read my long exposure stop guide and also my long exposure guide and that should clear up any other con questions you might have but uh, hope that helps you guys out and saves you a lot of headaches